Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Prophet West. Um, I have a few minutes. Uh, welcome to another Ernest West broadcast. The Sun has therapy um, in 30 minutes or so. We got here a little early. And so um, I know normally my video uh, is 8.45. Uh, I'm running late today, uh, but what I do want to do, I, I, I do want to encourage you briefly if I can. And also I want to, um, say a word of prayer, just a brief word of prayer. And, uh, the word that I want to, to say to you today that, that will encourage you is to remain faithful and stay determined, remain faithful and stay determined. And see, the thing about with faithfulness, it means you're doing the same thing all the time, over and over and over. You're, 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 uh, you're with God. You keep doing the same thing over, over and over. And the more you keep doing the thing over and over, you know, you're becoming faithful in it. And then faithfulness, also determination. When it comes to God, keep pressing your way. And I will say this, when things are tough, that doesn't mean to quit. That doesn't mean that God is not in it. But when things are tough, that means to stand and keep pushing even more. See, because anything worth having is worth fighting for. You got to fight for it. If you want it, you got to fight for it. And that's what it, that's what you appreciate when you fight for it. If, it, if it's your relationship, if it's, if it's if a certain belief that you're believing in, a certain healing, a certain breakthrough, um, certain peace of mind, you're, you're, you want your family to uh, come back in order, uh, you're praying for certain people to understand certain things, believe certain things, or whatever it is, stay faithful in it. Faith, you know, because you prayed one time, you keep praying, don't mean you have a lack of faith. That means you pray, you determine. Keep praying for the same thing. You got to keep praying for it until God do it, until God make a way, until you believe it. See, because the, the more you believe it, the more you confess it, the more you believe it. This is why the Bible says faith comes by hearing. The more you hear faith, the more you hear God's word, the more you have the confidence, the more you believe. The more you believe, the more you understand, the more you react. And so keep keep regurgitating, keep saying the same thing over and over until you believe it. See, because what God ultimately wants you to get to is a place where you can see your miracle. You can see it right now. See, because faith is the substance of thing. Now faith is right now. Healing is right now. Breakthroughs are right now. In the eyes, in the mind of God, everything has happened right now that you need. It's already done. Every, the, the Bible has been written. God has genesis the revelation. He's already got the victory. Uh, we always, we're already with him. We're already, already reigning with him. When you have the faith of God, then you have the understanding, the insight of God, wherein you will be confident to know that in every situation, God is going to bring you out. It doesn't matter how bad situations are. You know that you know that you know that God will heal you. God will bring you out. That's when you're faithful. Faithful to the belief that God is going to heal you. Faithful to the belief that everything is going to work out. So what? You have a pain in your chest. That doesn't mean you have a heart attack. You might just have a gas. So stop thinking the worst or stop thinking the worst when something happened. But learn how to fight and think positive. Oftentimes, and I'll tell you what happened to a lot of people when we have a, a sickness or when we have a certain situation in our life, we want to identify, identify it as being so. Oh, well, the, a friend of mine went through this and that happened. So that means that they went through it. So that means if I go through it, that's going to happen too. No, it doesn't mean that at all. So you have what you say. If you believe that everything's going to be all right, speak that thing out. And then God said, if you decree a thing, he's going to hasten to perform, perform it. He's got your back. But when you get in line to and begin to speak faith and have confidence in the fact that yourself, have confidence in who you are, and the moment that you have confidence in you who you are, then you'll learn how to have confidence in God. God is building your confidence in who you are. How can you, how can you love anyone if you don't learn how to love yourself? How can you understand other people if you don't understand yourself? How can you treat other people right if you don't even know how to treat yourself right? And for those of you that are that, that been through a relationship and uh, you're separated now or you're not in a relationship, but you're thinking about getting into another relationship, make sure first that you emptied out everything in your mind. Make sure that you're okay with you. Make sure you learn how to learn who you are. Uh, heal yourself. Physician, heal yourself. Do things that you've never done before, before you get into another relationship. Learn how to pamper yourself. Learn how to do things for yourself. 
You have to, even the Bible says to love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, you, you don't forget about your labor, but don't forget about yourself too. You got to love yourself too. And, and another thing, don't let people put guilt trips on you. Make you feel guilty for not loving them. See, lo love is not love is not a money. Love is not a, an exchange, a financial exchange. You have to give no part. You have to buy nobody's love. Love is supposed to be free. Love is a gift. So, so we need to learn how to understand and be faithful, but also learn how and understand what love is. Love is a learned behavior. We learn love from as a kid. We learn love from mom and dad how they interact. Uh, the people that we look up to. And so the problem is a lot of people don't know what love is. Many people don't know what love is. A lot of people think love is rejection because you rejected all your life. So you, the person that you, you, you're chasing because they're rejecting you, you're chasing at them. You think that's love. No, love is commitment. Love is long suffering. Love, love is staying there. See, when you mess up or when you make a mistake, love is figuring out how to work it out. How to figure out the problem because the truth of the matter is all of us has issues. All of us have problems. Even in a relationship, all of us got issues. See, but what happens when you love someone, you overlook those things. But when, when you feel like you're falling out of love with them and you're mad at them, all those things come up. That's what God does. God looks beyond all of our faults. And he sees that need that we have. Why can't we see that in each other? Why can't we see that with ourselves? We need to learn how to not look for the fault in a person, but look for the good. Find the good in that person. Encourage that person. Because there's so many people out there, all they need is a word of encouragement. Somebody to believe in them. Somebody to let them know that they can make it. Somebody to let them know that somebody's believing in them. And see, this is the season where God is causing the harvest to come up. God is causing miracles to take place, blessings to come play, uh, take place. But there's some of you, you're waiting on certain things, but it's not going to happen, especially if you got issues. You got issues in your heart against somebody. You mad or angry at somebody and you have unforgiveness in your heart, God will not hear you if you have unforgiveness in your heart. He will not hear your prayer. The Bible even says, if you if you ask God, your father who you've never seen to forgive you, but if you see your brother and sister every day and you want to forgive them, no, your father in heaven will not forgive you if you can't forgive your brother and your sister. That's why he put us out here on earth to get along, to learn how to love each other, to learn how to work together on earth and magnify him. I'm done. It's almost time for my um, son's therapy. But remember, love. Love. Learn how to love. Love is sacrifice. Love is sacrifice. Love is not always a good feeling. Love, sometimes when you see certain things, you have to deal with or you have to suffer certain things until that person grows up or they see it for themselves. That's true love. True love is sacrifice. True love is long-suffering. And so and so so love has to be mixed with anything that you're praying for or any any gift that you have. If love is not mixed with it, it's useless. God will not listen to you. God will not hear you if you have you harbor hate in your heart. The Bible says it. You you do the same, my brother Richard. God bless you, man. I've been praying for you. I've been checking you out too, man. And I love you, man. And I'm praying for you. Been looking forward to seeing you again soon. But remember, love. The answer to everything in your life is love. Love will cause certain things to break in your life. There's some, some of you, you have harbored certain things in your, in your heart. God wants you to love. God wants you to let go of it because there's some of you that you got some, something in your heart that if you keep holding on to it, you, you find yourself, your body is beginning to ache. You're going through personal issues in your body. That is because you're still holding on to certain things in your body. If you want that sickness or if you want those things to release in your body, then you must let go of those things. Let go of those people. Let go of those situations. I hope this makes sense. Love is your answer. Love is your answer. What you're dealing with, what you're facing, what you're fighting in your body, the hurts. Some things are self-inflicted, self-invited. Some troubles are self-invited. Some stuff ain't have to do with no, no, no devil. Don't have to do with no, no adversary. A lot of stuff has to do with you. Our choices. A lot of times, the things that we fight, the consequences that we deal with is based on our own decision. Because we wanted it, because we was impatient, because we didn't want to wait, because we want to do our own thing, and because we ain't want we ain't want to wait and want to do our own thing, that's why we're in this situation. Didn't have to do with God. But now God, hey, God bless you, God bless you, cuz. I'm still talking, I'm still here. Still talking about his goodness, still talking about his glory, and I'm talking about love. Love is the answer. Paul said, I can have all the gifts in the world, but if I don't have love, what I have don't mean nothing at all. The Bible even lets me know I gotta owe you, owe no man nothing but love. Oh, you love. And not just my mouth, not just my words, but actions have to come with that love. If I love you, I'm going to show you that I love you. If I love you, I'm going to do things to let you know that I love you. 
and I love you. If I love you, I'm going to sacrifice to do something to show you my love. That's the message for today. <laughs> love. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, we magnify you, and we glorify your name. For this is the day that you made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, I thank you. God, I bless you for your people. Teach us how to love. God, teach us how to lay aside every weight. Teach us how to kill our past, let go of the past. Don't let the voices of our past keep speaking to us. God, teach us how to be strong. God, teach us how to be willing vessels. Teach us how to have our heart open where we can hear your word because you're looking for available available and willing vessels. You said in your word, you're going to and fro on the earth looking for those whose heart is right, sincere before you. And those people's hearts that are right and sincere before you, those are the ones that you're speaking. Those are the ones that you're anointing. Those are the ones that you're raising up. Those people that are not full of game, not full of hustle, but they're all about you. They're all about doing your will to please you. Not, not, not to please their brother and their sister in that sense, but to please you. Not to please their flesh, but to please you first. For you said in your word, seek you first the kingdom, your kingdom, and your righteousness, and all things will be added, God. God, teach us how to go back to line upon line and precept upon precept. God, teach us how to follow your steps, your guidelines, that we might be blessed, that your name might be revealed, that your glory might be expressed to our life. And God, in our heart, God, for those people that are dealing with some things in their heart, God, don't go in their heart right now, God, and take the pain away. God, take the hurt away. God, take the pressure away. In Jesus' name, God, you know what they're going through. God, you know what they're dealing with, God. God, for those people who are, are dealing with bereavement in this time, God, touch their heart. Give them peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Do me a favor. Listen and share. Please listen and share. Listen and share. Love is your answer. It's your answer. Love. That's your antidote. That's where your healing is going to come through. The vehicle of love. Y'all have a good day. Do me a favor. Listen and share. God bless you all. And heaven smile on you. God bless you.